Yo guys, what's up? We're here with Rusty. We're going to talk about Moonleans today, and if you haven't heard of it, well, you're going to learn today. So before we get into all the things with Moonleans, Rusty, tell us a little bit about yourself, where you're from, what you're doing, and why in the hell you started this project called Moonleans. <laughs> yeah, so I'm from Detroit originally, but I traveled around the, the U.S. quite a bit. Found myself in the crypto space, just uh, knocking on the door and trying to figure out what's what in 2017. Went down the rabbit hole with NFTs this past year and just loved the community, the utility. Uh, started with uh, Mutant Ape Yacht Club, worked my way up to uh, Bored Ape and got heavy into Pixel Vault. And then uh, uh, several of us from the Pixel Vault Founders DAO, we, we uh, liked the art and we launched a derivative project called Moonlings to kind of appeal to all ages. And, and that's where we're at right here. <laughs> I kind of like it. We got a little <laughs> bit of a reference down here to the planets and all that jazz. Yeah. Uh, so just reading through the sites right quick. Moonleans are a collection of 10,000 NFTs, non-fungible ERC-721 tokens living deep within Earth's moon on the Ethereum blockchain. What began as a community-led project born from the Pixel Vault founders DAO has explored into far more. I'm sorry, has evolved into far more. Brought to life by artist Juicy Jamma and a passionate team, Moonlings are inspired by Pixel Vault's meta hero identities and pay homage to those incredible heroes and villains. Now, one question I had with this is you guys have kind of like a mitch match of these different traits and whatnot. And we know within the NFT space, you know, you have the rights to your, uh, you know, IP and all that kind of jazz. Have you guys made it where these are matching the meta heroes that exist, or is it kind of a mitch max? Mitch, mix match of a little bit of everything? Yeah, that's a great question. We made it so it's actually completely random. However, uh, since we were motivated by the Meta Heroes originally, we did utilize uh, quite a few of the original Meta Hero traits, but we also added some surprises for the audience. So you'll see, you see a few things that aren't necessarily in the Meta Heroes, and then we left out a few traits that are in the Meta Heroes just to add our own flavor to things. Love um, it, love it. Yeah, so it's pretty cool, and we uh, we have some surprises too. We actually did some collabs with some of the Pixel Vault artists as well. Ooh. I don't I don't want to leak those right now, but you'll see some uh, some fun surprises as we go along. Yo, banger! That's exciting. <laughs> so for your yeah, mission. 1.0 here you got the initial launch which is the uh launch and then the mint uh thruster boost acquire and stake meta heroes sage or sorry the second stage uh separation and ignition power liquidity provision uh cruise phase build foundation and moon bank and then the moon landing so it sounds like your kind of whole project is revolving around uh meta heroes themselves well, we, we definitely derive from meta heroes themselves, absolutely. But our goal is to really, uh, you know, expand beyond that. And what we want to do is really build a vibrant community uh, and extend beyond the metaverse. So we want to extend to, you know, things like merchandise, potentially things like like plush toys, uh, you know, these little uh, cute moonlings. They'd make pretty cool, you know, I don't want to say like Beanie Babies because that carries a stigma, <laughs> but they make pretty cool plush toys. I don't want to promise anything yet. Obviously, we have to get to, you know, to minting out. But the cool thing is the Moonling holders are going to be able to vote on, on what we actually deliver, right? We sell out, we raise a lot of funds, and we're going to set up a, uh, a governance process to allow Moonling holders to actually vote on what we're going to do with these funds. So uh, I see this community kind of taking on a life of its own. Uh, obviously, we're going to pay homage to our roots with the MetaHero universe and Pixel Vault Founders DAO. But we're building uh, what we're calling the Moon Bank, which will be a lasting foundation to sustain our future. And we hope to bring positive change uh, with that, both in and out of the metaverse, uh, both to our community and also, you know, engaging with things like, uh, you know, inclusivity, education. We're going to have an engaging storyline for the Moonlings, which may or may not, you know, interact with the MetaHero uh, storyline as we go. Uh, we want to build the Moonlings brand, build a strong community, and then also we want to launch projects that serve underrepresented communities in the future as well. You got a lot on your plate, and I think that's cool. And just <laughs> kind of going back to the aspect of Meta Heroes, it seems that one of the big things with it is that the idea is from the funds you are going to go out and buy uh, Meta Heroes to 
be able to stake and then subsequently for people that have uh, these moonlins being able to take advantage of that. So is that something like if I'm buying a moonlin, I'm then able to stake and then get a percentage of POW? And obviously that's dependent on how many meta heroes you get. And then I guess also to that is I know there is a process where you have to, you know, for the meta heroes unstake or not unstake necessarily, but claim. So how would that interaction kind of work for people that want to claim? Is it going to be on like a 30 day period and you guys are going to go through manually and get the meta heroes is going to be an automated system or how is that going to work? Yeah, it's a great question. Um, so initially, you know, we set out for, uh, basically loading up our moon bank treasury as a proportion. We wanted to, to have a, proportion of income generating assets and also liquid assets like ETH, right? So the income generating assets are going to be the meta heroes, which are staked for POW, and then the POW liquidity pool, which generates fees and also allows us to cash out some of that POW. And then the ETH will be the liquid asset. Uh, what we're going to do with that, um, I don't want to make any promises right now because I can't, right? Because uh, essentially that's going to go into our moon bank treasury, and what we do with those funds is going to be decided upon based on proposals through our governance process, which will be voted on by the Moonlink Treasury. I think your uh, question of can you stake Moonlinks for POW, I think that's really interesting. Uh, we, haven't, we haven't put too much thought into that thus far because, again, we want this to be an inclusive uh, process and we want to make sure everybody can vote on it. But our goal with the Moon Bank is really to generate a self-sustaining fund where we can build the brand, uh, bring value to the community uh, through different events, you know, launching things like merchandise and, and other things like that, potentially other other NFT mints, and really uh, allow this to grow. I love it. I think it's kind of cool. And I mean, have you guys figured out that if a sellout happens, how many meta heroes you'll be able to get? <laughs> well, the floor is always moving back and forth, so I'm I'm guessing thirty to forty. Uh, but I guess lately, yeah, it, it really depends. You know, you got the ETH price uh, moving around and then the, the floors are always moving around. And then we'll have to be strategic about our buys, right? We probably won't want to sweep the floor all at once. Uh, but we do plan to purchase all our meta heroes within 30 days of, uh, of the sale. That's awesome. That's really mm -hmm. cool. And I mean, I guess so if you guys are going in and, and you one of your ideas here is like POW growth specifically, obviously, we know that the planets are coming up here. Is there been any talks of you guys potentially waiting to see what the planet role in is for accruing POW and potentially going to buy planets uh, instead of meta heroes or potentially a little bit of both? I think right now, you know, we want to we want to be transparent to the community. And this is kind of what we laid out. Right. So we want to make sure, hey, if, if you buy into this project, this is where the funds are going initially. Uh, obviously, this is, you know, subject to change based on, on, you know, the guidance of the, you know, the members of the Moonlinks team and then votes by those who hold the Moonlinks tokens. But we wanted to, you know, basically go with what we know. There's so many unknowns. Uh, with with basing our project on another project, so that's a great great question, and I could I could definitely see potential for us diving into planets in the future. But to give a succinct answer, no, we do not plan on buying planets out of the initial sales. Gotcha. And so just mm -hmm. for the collection, supplying all the kind of basic info here, it's looking like it's a 10,000 uh, collection. And then the mint cost is going to be 0 0.069. So obviously, that's been a little bit of a meme <laughs> in the NFT space. Is that yep. the reason for it? Or how is the uh, how, how is the breakdown for you guys deciding on, you know, the fact that it's a 10k, we, we know that a lot of projects do do 10k, how come that was decided on? And then for the price, uh, how come that was uh, chosen? Yeah, pretty much for the memes, right? We said we want something that's, you know, equitable and achievable by, by most people. So with ETH around uh, 3K, we thought, you know, a couple hundred bucks for NFT was a, a fair price. Uh, the artist has put in a lot of work and this gets you into uh, a vibrant community and we're going we're gonna to have a lot of fun with it. Love it. And then so also listen here, five per transaction for the public mint. So how's it going to work if people are wanting to get in potentially on a whitelist or something ahead of time? How do you do that? And then when is the mint? Yeah, definitely. So we're reaching out to different partners uh, such as yourself to allow uh, different groups. Our goal is to reach as broad and as far and be inclusive as, 
of as many different groups as possible. We want a diverse community of moonlings. So we're reaching out to a lot of different communities. Obviously with our roots in Pixel Vault, we're also allowing uh, you know, Moonless for Pixel Vault Founders DAO. Because we are the moonlings, we're also allowing uh, our moonless. Our moonless is our, our term for allowing people. It's our allow list that allows people to pre-mint. So we're also allowing people that hold the moon and people that hold the dark moon MetaHero Planet tokens to join the moon list. And then uh, several partners such as yourself. I think Anonymous was on there. Um, I think um, uh, other other lead apes have been on there as well. Uh, I don't want to name. <laughs> I'm kind of still on here because I don't want to name names that haven't been released yet. But no, you're, you're good. You're good. We have uh, double digit uh, partners that will be released. And then also we're a grind free zone. So we're hoping for organic growth as well. Yeah, thank and God. For, oh my God. We, we do not like the grind. So we're hoping that, you know, people that jump into our discord, they have fun, they can sign up and we grant them a new moon roll. And the new moon roll actually allows them to join the, the uh, moon list as well. So grind free zone, max distribution. I understand people want to mint more. Uh, and we want people to, to have the moonlings, but we're prioritizing a wide distribution so that we can have a larger community rather than just a few whales. And then whatever we don't sell out in the pre-mint, then we will still have a public sale for those who want to, uh, you know, dip in and get some more uh, exposure to the moonlings project. And what, what day uh, is that public mint? Yeah, that's a good question. So right now we're planning for the end of February, which I realize we're February 20th right <laughs> now. Um, we just have a few loose ends that we need to tie up. Uh, you know, we're, we started this project about three weeks ago, so we're running very, very fast. But we realize we, you know, uh, this is this is the potential to to, you know, mint out and take in a lot of money. And we we owe this to our uh, the people that invest in our project to make sure that we give them a safe and secure experience. So we want to make sure everything's fully tested. We want to make sure everything's reviewed and it's a safe and secure experience. So we're hoping for the end of February, which would obviously be, you know, uh, end of next week, February 27th, 28th, uh, that could, could slip a little bit, um, you know, depending on how our testing goes, but we're running, aggressively but also carefully we take this very seriously we take security very seriously and we want to make sure we thoroughly test everything before we go live love it now if you're watching right now and you're wanting to follow them on socials it's at moonlings nft here on twitter and rusty final question here for you a little bit of a pop quiz if you were going to pick <laughs> up a planet right now that's offered by the metahero universe what planet would you buy and why well uranus has uh has a lot of uh, a lot of value and they have a very strong community so you can't go wrong with uranus uh, but if you're if you're looking for one of the more economical planets i think i think those are a good pick for the economical planets because you get a you know you get a sidekick uh meta hero for any of the economical planets if you're going for more of the pricey plants i know you said oh pick one but i gotta give different categories right if yeah, you pick yeah. one of the more pricier planets I think uh, I think you gotta go with the moon, right? It's the shortest supply, and there's a lot of uh, lore and different things that could be on the moon. So I'm excited to see what's coming. But yeah, Hell yeah. probably Love probably it. Uranus is a good value. Okay, <laughs> bet bet bet. Always like to <laughs> always like to find out where everyone's gonna uh, ho host up and. Uh, for, form the base, if you will, but we'll see when Meta Hero yeah. Universe fully unlocks. But Rusty, thanks so much for coming on. I appreciate it, and good luck with the mint. Thank you. Appreciate you.